Hello from Caja del Rio. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled C-A-J-A, uh, which is uh, just outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. We left uh, Borger, Texas, and uh, we're actually we're going northeast to uh, towards um, oh Raton, the city of Raton, New Mexico, which is right on the border of Colorado, which is in the general direction we wanted to go. Uh, we left Borger early because there were uh, weather forecasts of extreme weather with baseball-sized hail and possible tornadoes, and so we hightailed it out of there and headed off to Raton, New Mexico. When we got up there, uh, we found a, uh, a wildlife area just south of there, um, and we actually went there. It was in Maxwell, New Mexico, and we uh, drove down to that place, found a beautiful place to camp, and that was for free. Uh, but the uh, clouds that were moving in looked kind of mean, and the winds were rather strong. So I checked the weather forecast for that area, and there was a tornado uh, warning out until 10 o'clock that night. So we uh, decided to continue uh, go, going southward to get away from all this dangerous weather. Uh, and Santa Fe was just outside of the tornado watch area. Uh, so that's how we ended up settling on uh, Caja del, del Rio. Uh, it's a national uh, forest service uh, area and the camping here is free. A lot of winds today. It's been quite cloudy, some drizzling going on. This is the first uh, break we've had in the uh, weather today. But there's a few campers here. Not bad, you can see there's some mean looking clouds out that way. But no tornado warning, so I have the NOAA radio on. No weather alerts, so that's good. The, uh, this area actually is home to uh, a wild uh, group of horses. Um, out here, uh, so I was uh, surprised to see that. Uh, they're Mustangs, and they're managed by the National Forest Service here. Uh, I imagine managed means they keep the herd size down and probably auction off excess horses. I haven't seen any, uh, any horses uh, to this point. I haven't seen anything much in the way of wildlife, actually. But there is a, uh, turn this around, there is uh, some vault toilets over there and a uh, hiking trail, there's a trailhead over there. So a shelter there for large groups with a big fire ring once again. Some toilets. An El Camino Real National Historic Trail. So. So the horseback riding here and things like that. So not bad. So you can stay here up to 14 days as well. <laughs> Free. There are no services here though. Uh, no water, no garbage cans. So you're totally uh, on your own. Take your own garbage with you. Uh, this place is actually pretty clean. 
uh, I was surprised. There are a few beer bottles over here. I think when we go to leave, we'll, uh, we'll take some uh, extra garbage with us, do our part, and help keep our parks clean. But lots and lots of places to camp. So, we're gonna stay here one more day and then start heading northward again. Uh, like I said, we diverted way south. <laughs> I wasn't planning on coming this far south, but I don't relish hanging out in really severe weather. So the winds and a little bit of rain that we got here is no biggie compared to what we could have experienced. So that's it uh, for now. Catch you guys later. So I got up this morning and look, it's snowing here. Oh my gosh. Nothing like a little snow in May all the way down by Santa Fe. Crazy. I didn't expect to run into snow here. Now we are uh, just under 7,000 feet where we're camping here at Caja del Rio. But uh, Hopefully it stops soon. <laughs> crazy, crazy weather. This is certainly the craziest weather I have seen in a long time. We keep driving places to avoid storms and tornadoes and been constantly on the move, driving a lot more miles than I really wanted to. But, uh, and we still get bad weather, but I'll take snow uh, over tornadoes any day. So, all right, catch you later. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.